Hey everybody, welcome back. We are doing another live stream channel updates for Sunday, June 28th. We're going to be doing some unboxings today. A couple people have sent some stuff in. I've got a couple things in from orders. Want to see what you guys thought of them. And I was told that I need to make sure to film what I got going here from OCD for EDC. What's up, Morgan? Welcome, welcome. What's up, Sig? Yeah, we're doing a little channel updates today. Having some fun here. Try to get that a little straighter on there for you guys. Don't want to tape it down to my table, so... Going to be doing some unboxings today, so I got to do a little bit bigger area than normal. Just so I can fit everything on screen, hopefully. What's up, Nick? Yeah, this 9400 is so nice. What's up, EDC Life? Woo! Just flies right out. C. Lemansky. What's up, G Man? Joseph. Penny. What's up, Penny? So much fun with this one. Got the first production. Jersey Knife Guy. What's up, man? Yeah, so we got some 940s and 9400 there. Thanks, Nick. Yeah, the Osbournes are nice, you know. They put out a few... You know, this is the 20-year anniversary of the 940 Osborne, so... That's good. Oh, are you? <laughs> You're cursing them for it? You know, I mean, you can't... I mean, they've just done so much with the 940 Osborne this year, it's like... I can't wait to see what's next, you know? Yeah, I'm totally glad they kept their ergos the same as well. No, Morgan, I had to return the prototype. That's okay, you know? What's up, James? I'm just glad they were able to, uh, you know, let me borrow it and get it on the channel for you guys and make sure when it was launching that you guys knew about it, which I'm sure a lot of people did, but... Carbon fiber with the split arrow. Oh, yeah, red thumb studs. Yeah, that'll be good. Yeah, and they've had kind of a red kick this year, you know. What's up, Jeff? You know, they've been used to doing uh, a lot of blue, and then this year they're switching to a lot of red accents. So, what's up, John Hood? So, kind of cool to see that change. What's up, Justin? OCD Free DC's here. Doing good, man. Happy Sunday. Had to run it a little bit later, but dishes are done. What's up, buddy? We uh, had to make sure to go get some refreshing beverages from uh, our friends. Got my one day off this week. Hey, hey Jason. Not late at all, man. Welcome, welcome. Oh, you're building a new deck. Holy cow. That's fun. Hopefully the weather's cooperating. What's up, Mean Gene? Menace is here. Very nice. OSK in the house. What's up, Brewer95? Oh, joyriding your Mustang? Oh, man. That sounds fun. Just doing a little flipping. It's hot. Oh, well, good. You can take a break with us. I got a special... What's up, GK? Special uh, surprise shipment that arrived. What's up, Big Red? Big Red's in the house. But had a few other things I wanted to unbox for you guys. Kind of show you what came in this week. And then I had a surprise box show up that... Once it arrived, I was I was told that I definitely, this one I had to definitely open and do a video on. And so I'm like, man, let's just do it live. Let's do it live, right? So I got a few other knives that came in from the pass around group, so I'll unbox those as well. We'll see what's going on. What's up, Bad Monkey? Out of the depot. Do you have to stand in line there? What's up, Mikey? Donald's here. Nice to be back with Zach. Zach's back. Woohoo! What's up, Spirited? Yeah, it's all good. 
Happy Sunday. Doing a little unboxing. It's funny. So we're five minutes in and I just got the email notification from YouTube saying that I'm live. So I wonder if that'll draw in some more people, huh? What's up, Kyle? I know everybody's been having questions about that as, as well. Like, oh, what's going on with this, you know? Oh, I know. I, it was hard for me to wait, you know? I, I, I avoided picking everything up on Friday and picked it up yesterday on purpose. What's up, Tad? Yeah, it was just it's just weird. Alkis, what's happening? Welcome, welcome. So that's one of the things that, you know, it's kind of cool to see that the notifications are getting a little bit better. But five minutes in, I mean, I guess I could always do a premiere, do it that way. But yeah, the 940-1, I definitely have that. Um, it has the blue accents that come stock with it. And I put a blue thumb stud on it. Oh, okay, EDC Life. No, I appreciate it. If you can come back later, come back, you know, within 45 minutes or something, we might be doing a giveaway. Carlos, thanks, man. Happy Sunday, Carlos. Carlos CDC. If you haven't checked it out, man, he's got a sweet channel on YouTube here as well. Yeah, the blue on this 940 is amazing. And I'm still looking for a second one of these, you know, that's not like $500 on eBay. So if anybody has one that's uh, or knows of one that's decently priced, you know, I'm willing to pay the finder's fee, but it's like, holy cow. I'd love to have one that I could put in my collection because I'm using this one, so... Yeah, Carlos is here. He's loving it. Digging it. Totally digging it. Oh, the nicest 940. Oof. The one the nicest one I have. Oh man. I would probably say. You know, I really like the red resin infused carbon fiber they did with Smoky Mountain. Um, that was in 2018. And the, I mean, the blue one's super nice and it's got, you know, upgraded blade steel. So you've got the 20 CV on there as well. The international is super nice. <laughs> there you go, big red. What up, man? Thanks, buddy. Yeah, the auto Osborne's nice. I mean, that's big time, but. Yeah, I think GK, you're right, man. I, I have to go with either the going gear, much respect and love Marshall, man, rest in peace, or I would say that red resin infused carbon fiber, contoured scales, all that good stuff. So let's see, what did Donald say? You have another blue one, don't you? No, I'm looking for a second one. So I have one that I picked up. Thanks to you guys. You guys sent somebody my way, so that's totally awesome. Um, uh, spirited flipping your new build Ed Cope Custom LR6 Berger de Tom Mayo. That sounds crazy awesome. Need to unload the Contego with Black M4. The going gear is rad, totally. So, I mean, that's why I love them so much. I love the design. I mean, you guys know me for the 940, and it's like, you know, you kind of heard what I said. Like, man, if they could put this blue G10 on an auto. The 9400 or something. And even keep it S30, you know. Or even maybe step it up to that S45 VN they're using on the Meat Crafter. Come on now. Yeah, it's... So here's the funny part. So I was... I, you know, I definitely had those conversations right after I got this. And I'm like, what happened to the liners? What happened to the uh, Black Access bar, you know? What's up, Chris? Yeah, welcome, man. That's awesome. And it was one of those things, and they reminded me that none of the 940s that have been out have had that black access bar recently. So I went, I went through my whole collection. I lined them all up. <laughs> they all have the satin ones. And I'm like, what the heck? So anyway, so that was a good point they brought up. But still, they could go with black liners. You know, they, they can PVD coat them. They could Cerakote them, whatever. What's up, Big Cheese? Yeah, I appreciate that, Big Red. Definitely. What's up, Dane? Dane's here. Welcome, welcome. So, okay, so I'm going to move some of these off to the side here a little bit. I want to do just a little bit of an unboxing. 
And I'm going to use the new 9400. You know, I mean, you can't beat that action, you guys. Push button. Little pop of color. So... Yeah, Kyle, it's one of those things that, you know, they, they, they have the ability to do all that stuff, but yeah, Born of Blades, you know, I heard, I heard there might be something added to the custom knife builder, but I don't know. Yeah, so here we go. So let's see, let's open this one up. Let's see if we can do it. This one's from our friends. Um, let's see here over at the Journey Tool Company in Oregon, just down the road. What's up, Born of Blades? Yeah, all black, it would really, really pop, you know, just the contrast color. Um, but yeah, Journey Tool Company, you know, you guys have probably seen them. I know a few of you guys have some stuff from them as well. Um, Oh, okay, dang, cool. But they are basically pretty awesome people. Yeah, th dude, Big Red's awesome, man. Dude, you're so cool. Thank you so much. Um, but here's here's the box. I just opened it up. You know, they stamp everything. They have their logo. And what this is, I, I picked up an EDC tray from them. So let me see what we got here. Oh, this is sweet. So they included a, a sticker pack. That holographic sticker. Woo. Awesome. But yeah, so they got, man, there's all, look at all this, man. This is amazing. The stuff that they're doing here. Oh, there goes all my super secret information, which is already on my channel, but <laughs> you guys know that. You guys know how to get a hold of me and send me stuff. Oh, uh, what's up, Professor EDC? So this is, a, this is a pretty cool one. So I don't even know where to start. I didn't even know... So this is obviously what I, what we're here for in this bag. So let's look at the sticker pack really quick. And then we're going to get over. Uh, we got two other things to unbox. And then we have a special unboxing today. So. Oh, I'm sorry. That's a bummer. Yeah, Mikey, you definitely, you know, I would recommend if depending on your EDC preference, I would recommend something like a, a bug out or a 940 Osborne. It kind of depends on the style you like, um, or even a Griptilian or something like that. Or if you want an assisted, the barrage or mini barrages are pretty cool. Oh man, they sent us a sticker pack. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh dude. We're so giving some of these away today. That's so cool. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Dude, that, man, they're so nice down there. And the thing was, I, I purchased all this, so he must have he must have seen my mailing address before or something. Yeah, dude, total swag. So I'm not, I'm, I have swag, but not to the level of Big Red, so it's kind of cool when I get some swag in because it's like, oh, yeah. Now, this is like sealed with wax or something. Oh, you got the critter ones? Oh, nice bad tofu. That's pretty solid, man. I'm looking at those. I want. I might get some of those for the mini bug out. You know, um, thanks to our friend Josh, he sent me those orange scales. So I put them on that the white stormtrooper bug out. I think I showed you guys this, but this is how that that 940 should look. All blacked out hardware, access bar, liners. So, pretty cool on that when that went down. Look at that, a little personalized. That's pretty cool, man. Aaron's awesome down there. So yeah, we'll get some of this to you guys. Definitely hook you guys up with some swag. What's in this box here? That's pretty heavy too, this one is. Yeah, there's rock scale, look at that, dude. Yeah, I could definitely try. Uh, I know the, the bug out one and the mini bug out are a little bit different. I think the, um, I was looking into a couple things. I think the barrage or something. Oh man, he sent me a little note with this one. 
Oh, man, look at this. What is this? Oh, sweet. So this is like a tool, a bit holder. Drive holder and all that. Oh, man, that's awesome. Holy cow. So this is like an anodized aluminum. One solid piece. You can put those drivers in there. Let's see if we have our bit. Where's our, where's my driver that I have here? These should fit right in there. Yep. So you can just put all your bits in there. Now I got to buy one of those drivers, huh? Because I don't think my stubby one's going to fit too well right there. I mean, it still will, right? I mean, it fits right onto there. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's going to match. Oh, dude, and he sent one that matches. Oh, this is awesome. Way super cool. Okay. Let's get this one open. Some of the stuff that people are doing right now, that extra detail and attention for packaging and branding, all it's just beautifully amazing. Holy cow, you guys. Oh, my word. This is going on my gram today. Look at this EDC tray. It's anodized aluminum. There's the bottom of it. Nice solid rubber feet. You're milled in. Look at that. What's up, Beefer? And this is leather. Oof. That looks good. Look at that pair right there. Put a little, I'm going to dial it up right now, man. Put a little EDC on there. Oh, that's super nice. Yeah, I had to. I ordered one right when he dropped them, and um, I was still like an hour or two late, and he only had a couple of these small ones left. The big ones are all sold out, so I was trying to score a small one, but or I mean a big one, but I got the small one instead. So that's super cool, man. You guys, holy cow! Oh, well, I'll tell you what. This small one is perfect. Dang. That's so cool. All right. Sorry, I will finish admiring this later. Um, we will get you guys some swag out of this. Um, very cool EDC tray. Uh, definitely one that is great for the office. Um, one that's, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of room, but it'll still hold all your stuff pretty much. I'm thinking I might need to order one for my work too. I know, totally, Morgan. I'm like, oh, okay, what do I? What am I going to put on this one next? So let's just put that off to the side. We'll put a little pop of color on it. Thank you, Journey Tool Company. Thanks, Big Red, for linking them. That's so awesome. Yeah, one of my gold class would look better. Or actually, you know what? This would look really good on there, too. A little dam of steel. Oh, I did not order a Typhoon. No, somebody else might have. That's so cool. Okay, I have one other one to unbox that I want to share with you guys. And this is from my favorite guy to the north. Yeah, Mikey. And that's why, you know, that's why I really wanted to. I actually, here's the, the cool part. I actually had several people who watch um, some of my videos who work at Benchmade who are like, brother, that's amazing that you're doing that. You know, um, doing that build giveaway for my 1 million view. Because I really want somebody to build one like this or something. I mean, you don't have to. That's totally up to you guys. But, I mean, as, dang, you know. And if they add something this year, whew, I mean, sky's the limit, right? Okay, so our big friend, Big Red, he sent me a knife. I think it's going to be a pass around knife. So I'm gonna get this one opened up. And let me tell you guys, got some sad news in regards to Blade Show West being canceled. And I'm pretty bummed out about that. What's up, August? But I've been talking with uh, our friend, Big Red, and I think we're gonna, we're gonna do some special stuff for you guys. You know, we're going to plan some things for that weekend. So hang tight. Don't worry. We'll fill you guys up with a little bit of info as it gets closer. But what is that? 
Oh, it's the microfiber. I'm thinking this is a pass around knife, but let's see what we got. We got a Civivi in true Civivi style. Which one do we get? Dogma? Oh, it's a little one. Ooh, little front flipper. Oh, each reviewer gets cloth. Well, that's cool. Look at that beauty. Yeah, that's a little, but it's still, I can still get all my fingers on it. Wow. <laughs> that's a good idea there, Lemansky. Oh, nice, Justin. Okay, cool. Yeah, that'd be fun. Thanks, Beefer. Yeah, it's super cool. So you have your, is that Isham's logo? Yeah, you got Isham's logo right there. That is pretty nice. Yeah, McKenna's. Little front flipper. He digs that front flipper stuff. But you know what? It's like super smooth. I didn't think it would be crazy like that. I mean, it almost meets uh, the finger test for some people. <laughs> Man, okay, let's do a quick look and just comparison. There's your 940 Osborne compared to the McKenna. That's pretty wild, though. I mean, that's little. It's got deep pocket carry, recessed clips. That's pretty sweet. Well, you'll see a review coming up on this one. I was almost thinking that I wasn't going to like the front flipper, but what's up, Rusty? That's pretty That's pretty special. Right on. All right, well, let's see here. Let's get uh, this stuff put away just a little bit so we don't lose stuff. P other people that uh, are going to get these might not appreciate that, right? Yeah, you know, I you know they could definitely do a red 940 in the G10, maybe with the black. I don't know. That would be cool if they did that, though. They're kind of on a red kick this year. Yeah, those mall scales are sweet. Awesomely sweet. So beautiful. And they work fantastic. Oh, what's up, Rusty? That's nice of you. Yeah, the price tag on that one's a little steep, but it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. I mean... And then you then you bump up to like the titanium one they did this year, and it's nice because stuff's beveled. But I'll tell you what, like, you know, it's a it's a it's a tough comparison. I mean, the only thing you have different is you have S ninety V on there, but the only thing that's different is you have your uh, your milling and all that on the mollusk and everything, which is superb. Okay. Here's the one we've been waiting for. Where'd it go? We have a box here from OCD for EDC. I'm going to move some of this stuff just a little bit more because I want to give some room. I don't know what's in here. There's some uh, special <laughs> gifts in here. I was told somebody put something special in here for me on top of maybe what Justin put in here. <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, oh, I can't wait to see this one. Well, I was talking a little trash uh, on his live last week, um, just giving him, you know, a little bit of grief about some stuff. And uh, his wife was like, oh, okay, I got you. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, what does that mean? And then all of a sudden, I, I'm getting this and I'm like, uh oh. <laughs> so let's see, let's get this cracked open. Oh, it's taped down the sides. You know, this is one of those things, you know, Big Red's covered this for shipping. Definitely you gotta tape these sides because you can pull these tabs open real easy. You know, they can accidentally come open during shipping. Um, so definitely wanna make sure to avoid that. Let's see here. It's not the most beautiful way to open it, but keep everybody's uh, shipping information private. 
and we'll see if this comes out. <laughs> I, I see some super bright colors in here. Okay, nice. Got a little bracelet going. A little padded. A little Tucson. Holy cow. Uh oh. Oh, there's some dental floss. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, what else we got in here? Oh, we got trial size toothpaste for enamel health. Right on, right on. What's up, Drew? Uh oh. I got a special little bag, too. Yeah, the gray black. The, the gray blades are nice too. I prefer the black ones now that they've come out, but nice floss. It's still good too. I got about a year left on the expiration, so it is floss. <laughs> well, thank you. Put this in maybe my little, uh, my go bag, you know, never know when you're gonna need to stay, keep your uh, teeth healthy. I don't know what I should open first. Let's go through the stuff that's already out here. Bubble wrap, thank you. You can always use extra of that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right? Like, dental floss expires? Okay. So, oh, Amos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just going to leave that there. Uh, something you can put on and carry your uh, cards in. Kind of like a little silicone pouch. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Uh, let's see here. Got a little bracelet. Okay. Looks like uh, your favorite Bronco colors or something. i to make sure I can get it open. There we go. So those are awesome. I love the paracord stuff. That's pretty cool. Thank you. We'll put that next to the that stuff up there. There we go. Now, what are these? <laughs> I don't know if these are like tabs for books. Yeah, it is paracord. It's kind of a royal blue and orange paracord. Really stiffly made, so that's good. Yeah, people that are, you know, Bills or Broncos fans or something. I don't know what these are, so maybe somebody could help me with this. They look like stickers. Okay, they are for your fingernails. Okay. I was thinking <laughs> I was thinking there was some some uh some stuff going on with that. So, all right. Put them on like that or something <laughs> or maybe they go like this what's up grim welcome we're unboxing a, a a surprise gift from ocd for edc yeah so i uh, maybe i need to do my nails that's that's good that's good no strips oh yeah they i definitely need some longer ones okay so we have a little like purple bag with a note in here i'm kind of scared to open it Hopefully it doesn't have like your checking account number on there. We'll peek real quick. No, I'm just kidding. Oh man, look at that. They even give me instructions on how to do it. Oh, I'm so in. <laughs> That's I'm in for another uh, for another video with that. Okay, perfect. Well, they match. So they must have these must have been inside there. Most excellent. <laughs> I'm down. I can see that. That would be, uh, you know, like uh, Zach's manicure channel or personal care. Yeah, right on. <laughs> okay, we got a big card here. It's got, oh, man. Did I get some swag? Oh, look at that. Yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Man, I love these new ones, too. You know, design of the design of the blade. As the background, that's cool stuff. What do you guys think? You guys like his new stickers? I think they're awesome. Right on. Thank you so much. I'll give some of those away today too. Nothing else in the envelope. Put that off to the side. Yeah, there's money. Hey, there's money in there. Oh man. Oh. I don't even, should I open this live? Oh no. Oh, oh geez. <laughs> Holy cow. That scared the crap out of me. Oh my word. Oh, that's funny. That's funny stuff right there. <laughs> oh man, it was dialed. Then it started spinning and flew out. <laughs> oh Lord, that's perfect. 
Man, made me bump all my stuff, everything. That's crazy. I didn't even see. I didn't. I didn't watch his because I purposely didn't want to spoil anything. Oh, that's awesome, man. That's an awesome. That's an awesome card, man. <laughs> Custom knife show. Yeah, right on. Some trolling material. Nice. It's my treasure now. That's a that's a good one. This is this is awesome. That's a really good one. I haven't seen that before, so that got me definitely. I was like, oh, that's something colorful in the card, you know? Bam, opened it up, flew right at me. Okay, so let's <laughs> open this up. Two sun knife. Oh, thank you guys. I needed that today. Um, okay, so we'll open this up. That's awesome, man. Thank you for sending all this stuff and thank you for the knife. That's that's incredible. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Everybody's like, that is awesome. Oh, Woo. oh yeah, this is looking good. Look at this. Dang. All right, a little bit of oil. Let's wipe that off. Make it look all pretty. Holy cow. Okay, now you got the pocket clip here. Deep carry. You got the Z on there. I'm totally digging that. And it kind of shines and hits the light. That's fantastic. You got the custom scales dyed red. Or no, that's like a red orange. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, that's awesome. Got that orange backspacer, man. That's hot. Digging it. Orange. <laughs> now, let me tell you something. We're going to flip this over. And we're going to blow your mind. Because I already saw it. It's fantastic. Oh, look at that, dude. That's so awesome. Look at that. Holy cow. I don't even know how you did that. That's so sweet. Dang, man. It just, it just pops. It matches so good. Holy cow. And the pivot. Pivot's got the Z on it. Yeah. Look at that. That's fantastic, man. Holy cow. That's sweet. Thank you so much. Now, we're going to get this popped open. Let me get my towel again because I saw a little bit of oil on there. Oh, smooth. Smooth, smooth. Look at that. Holy cow. Dude, this is going to be my... This is going to... This is it. You know what I mean? This is going to be obviously my knife, but dang, I got, wow. That's incredible, man. I mean, perfect fit. Yeah, groovy, definitely groovy. I mean, look at that. It's like custom branding. Great blade shape. Really good length. Yeah, man. I love it, too. Thank you guys so much. I know you put a lot of work into that because holy cow, that's smooth too. That's a smooth operating knife. Wow. Man, and that orange, man, just pops right out there. I love it. Thank you guys so much. Now I know why you meant like you got to do a video when you open it. Not only because it's going to scare the crap out of me and move all my stuff around, but... That was perfect. <laughs> this is a good idea. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna go try this here in a few minutes when we're done. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the etching looks great. The knife itself, beautiful. And, I, and I'm guessing, because I saw a little bit last night on Big Reds. I'm guessing the the clips been acid washed or etched on top. That's good. And the liners look like it too pivot i like the the darker liners it matches the pocket clip 100 percent. it looks like the hardware and all that's done too i don't know if you guys can see the hardware on it all the hardware okay yeah dang oh jack you missed it oh yeah it's an n not a z uh, i'm pretty good at it's a, it's a z 
Or are you talking about the pocket clip? But see, when you carry it like this in your pocket, it's a Z. Oh, wow. That's cool. Molly did the logo right on. Oh my gosh. Man, I'm blown away by this. This is so cool. I mean, you can't get more custom than this. Oh, serious? When I open the box? Oh, man. You missed out something crazy. <laughs> You're, this, this was amazing, Justin. This was that threw me for a loop, definitely. Oh, okay. Get calmed down here for a second. This is, you guys, this is so cool. This is sweet. You guys can be seeing more of this. I'll definitely do a, a review on this. Look at it in the sunlight. Is purple? Okay. On this side, it looked like it was an orange through here, through the middle. That's cool. Yeah, I'll go look at it in the sunlight. I don't know if we're going to get any sun today. Uh, it, it's not even supposed to hit really 70 degrees, and it's supposed to be raining here in a little bit. So, yeah, definitely. Get out there now. Run, run, run. Okay. Nice. Okay. Awesome. What's up, Ty Addiction? Okay. Well, let's... Okay. Thank you guys so much. That's an amazing, amazing gift thank you we got some swag we need to set aside for our giveaway um i have something else i can do a giveaway on too let's see here or not giveaway but an unboxing we got some journey stuff to give away today it's fantastic i think i have another one. Oh, your logo is on the inside Is it on the inside of the scales? Oh, man. Let me get my flashlight. Hold on. I got my flashlight right here. My little Olight i5 EOS. Am I missing it? Seriously missing it? Oh, there it is. It's right there on the inside. Uh, let's see, how can I show this to you guys? <laughs> there you go, right by underneath my index finger. You can see his logo in there. That's awesome. Dang, man, right on. Yeah, that's an Easter egg. Yeah, it took me a minute, Jersey. <laughs> I was still, I was looking at the outside, yeah. Well, now I'm gonna have to go back and watch Big Red's video on his. Holy cow, man. Thank you again so much. That is awesome work. So are you, are you uh, just a question? And Jeff, I'll answer your question in a second. Uh, Justin, are you gonna be doing, uh, taking orders? <laughs> just, you know, just in case somebody wants to order one or two. Or something. And it's the TS-124. The Tucson. Thank you guys. That's awesome. And I need to reset this up because that was freaking superb. <laughs> and it sounds like I need to brush my teeth and do my nails. So please thank Molly for that. <laughs> I will make sure that I get a video in on that as well. Uh, okay. So let's do one more... Um, unboxing on something that came in and then we'll do a little giveaway for you guys the butterfly was amazing i gotta go back and watch that because that scared the crap out of me and i was like stuff flying everywhere i knocked my camera almost totally over so that was that was really good that was really good now i know why you meant like hey you got to do that you got to do a video while you do it <laughs> but doing it live was better for me because i probably would have went back since i knocked my camera I probably would have went back and like, you know, paused it, rewind it, those kind of things. So, all right, the 9400. We've got a little package here. This one's from our friends at uh, MCMD Hankery. 
Um, she is an amazing woman who is making some awesome products. Um, she's out of the Beaverton area, um, kind of that west side of Portland. So, ordered up a pretty cool Hank here. Pacific Northwest made. You got all that. Let's take it out of the package here. She's also been making face masks and stuff too lately. Her stuff, her drops sell out pretty quick too. Knew her um, prior to Blade Show West last year. And pretty cool. I like these new stickers. That's awesome. Really, really cool. Just a soft. Um, this is like a microfiber material on the inside of this one. And it, uh, it opens up pretty big. So, um, let's see. I mean, there's my hand. I have a large hand. So, you can see how big it is. But, yeah, these are great. This is a really durable material, too. Um, almost feels like a synthetic blend. Because it doesn't feel like 100% cotton. It might be. I'll have to double check what I ordered. But I just like the topographic look to it. So I think that'll be good. Oh, Ty Addiction's out. All right, man. See you later. We'll see you on the next one. Yeah, sorry. I'll just put it on the side. Make your eyes go squirrely. That's cool. So she's good people as well. You don't follow her. I can put her link down in the description below as well. All right, what did Justin say? Okay, yeah, definitely custom work. Okay, Justin said, yeah, he'll definitely do it. Yeah, and that's why, you know, I've used, you guys have probably seen my Instagram, but I've used, I don't know if they're in here at all. Might be in the other room. Um, I've been using the Mighty Hanks as well. Oh, here's one I have, Mighty Hanks. Uh, they're a little smaller, but like here's a Mighty Hanks one. And it's a little bit smaller, obviously, but it's got that like super microfiber material, almost like the the bags that, you know, Benchmade comes in. And it works great on glasses and stuff. So almost the same exact material as a liner, but I dig theirs. And then, you know, JD's got his, Shadowborn. It's, I mean, there's so many great Hank makers out there. I think there's about half a dozen of them that I have different makers. So, oh, you're going to watch it after my live? Okay, cool. That's some good stuff. Uh, have I had the Titanium 940 for a while? So, I got these when they came out. I picked this up, um, you know, had to, had to get it, obviously. This one's number 299. It was a limited edition release. It was kind of cool. They, they held a, you know, a small box of them um, and sold them through the factory store, so it was kind of cool. The rumor is they might still have some if you call there. Um, but anyways, um, who knows? I haven't, I haven't asked lately. Uh, we're gonna go back to Jeff's question. He asked me about the Wii Banter. Uh, I would love to be showing you one right now. It's right here. Um, you know, it's got it feels good in the hand. Um, <laughs> no, but uh, I tried it out at Shot Show. It was amazing. Um, it was cool to meet all those guys. Um, you know, the, the everybody at Wii. Um, you know, I actually met up with uh, Frankie Bird down there. So it was kind of cool. Birdshot for Birdshot IV, however you want to refer to them. But the cool part was getting them both in hand. Um, you probably saw my Instagram. I have them on there. Uh, I've posted a couple little videos of them, just you know, holding them, flipping them. And that's one of those those things that you know when I really like to get one in hand. Um, just like you know, I got that awesome knife, that uh, ZT. You know, it was used, but I got that ZT sent to me. A 0450 in tie and it's like oh my gosh this is amazing so really getting in hand i really like it um but for some reason i hit that i hit that uh <laughs> that drop and i ordered the blue one and because i didn't want to like get a black one if i wasn't going to use it and i want to use the blue one 
So I figured they're going to do multiple runs of these. So let's get the blue one to start. Uh, paid for standard shipping. And it didn't ship for like two days. I don't know why. They're obviously busy. Um, that's one of those things. So I'm like, okay, great, you know. But it'll be here tomorrow. So I will do a video on that. You guys will see that tomorrow. Um, yeah, so... One of the other questions, um, let's see, what was the other one back there? I think I missed one here. They did do a Damasteel variant of the 940. Um, let's see. Is the tie slick? Um, so, yeah, the titanium, uh, it has a tiny bit of feel to it, but compared to the 940, the 940 brand new in aluminum has a little more tackiness than this titanium does. So the, when I compared, when I did the video on this one, one of the things I compared it directly to was the rock scale designs with his milling. And I kind of like those better than these. Um, I like this no matter what, but the milling adds that little bit of texture that I think everybody wants. So. Oh, you weren't fast enough to get the blue, okay. Yeah, I figure I'll get the next one and swap it over. What's up, Randy F? Welcome. Yeah, hit that like button. That's great, you guys. Yeah, they did do the international one. Uh, Kark asked if I know any dealers or exclusive or have exclusive bug outs coming soon or any upgraded bug outs coming from Benchmade this year. I know of some stuff, but I'm not able to talk about it right now. So um, you guys will be excited for it. That's all I can say. Um, what's up, Justin? Welcome. Do I know about a buck Swiss knife? Hmm. You saw one today. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, and that's what I did on, on mine. You know, I got a basic um, 940-2 with the G10. And I swapped it out and put the, you know, the titanium rock scales on it. And this one's actually, I put, uh, you know, our friend Adrian, he makes the titanium hardware. And so I put the barrel spacers on there, um, the clips, clip screws, and then thumb studs. So overall, this 940-2 kind of has that dash one look to it, but I wanted something nice to carry with these black G10 scales. So I think the blue pops really well. One of, one of my favorites to carry. Uh, let's see here. Missed a couple questions. What's up, JB? BJ's here from Hilltop. I don't know. That's the thing. Oh, Big Red. <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for all your help, too. I know it's kind of people helping people, you know, helping each other out with that stuff, which is super fun, super amazing. I would totally help you out if I was there. You know that. Uh, Triple E EDC, welcome. Yeah, I don't know price wise what you're gonna need to save up. You know, it's just one of those things that you know they're gonna, you know, Benchmade switched a uh, about a year or two ago to doing more of a uh, kind of a quarterly release of different knives. So you get knives that release. You got you know probably half a dozen every quarter or so. So I'm excited to see what's coming up for the next quarter. You know. Um, the most recent was the 940 or the 9400 you know push button auto osborne and that one was awesome you know they got a new um bally coming out which is uh milled all from one piece of titanium with a different little blade on it more of kind of a drop point looking blade um oh the centauri I got a Centauri right here, this one, which is an S35. It's pretty sweet. And it's nice. I think I might want to get the smaller one too. But this has the S35 VN on it. These are these are stinking amazing. I mean, look at how that closes. Um so yeah, so I'm hoping that, you know, we see another one or two 940s. Um, I hope we see, you know, some more bug outs coming out. That's everybody's favorite. Um, I'm guessing there's probably going to be some stuff in the hunt line. There's that new Tangu tool coming out. Um, I have one of those that I'm reviewing right now. 
So those are pretty pretty nifty, but they're a little smaller. And this is a mini Crooked River that you can buy on Benchmade's Custom Knife Builder and make it your own. You can pick your pivot collar rings, your blade steel, your scales, your bolsters. Yeah, I saw that Moku Taiwan. That's crazy. And this is one that, you know, I built myself about a year or so ago. And I'm just like, it's nice, you know. It's that once I got one of them, the Mini Crooked River is like a regular size knife for me. So the full size ones are like huge. You know, that's definitely something you would have just on like a hunt or something you would, you would go on. But that's why I wanted to do that for my million view giveaway. I was going to wait till 10, I, you know, I reached 10,000 subscribers, which I just passed 6,000. So you guys, thank you so much. It means a lot, you know, and the more, the more people that are here participating and the feedback is awesome. Like, you know, one of the things that I did on the 9,400 video was, you know, I left out something that in my mind, I was like, wow, oh, I should have taken this one. What's up, Rodney? I should have taken the mediator and done a real side by side of it, you know? So a couple of you guys, you know, wrote me back in the messages. were like, hey, you know, it'd be super to see the mediator with that one and kind of a more in depth. So, you know, I took, I was like, yep, perfect. So grabbed it, grabbed the mediator, sat down the other night, like, let's just, you know, hammer through a little side by side and answer some questions. So I really like that part of the the community where people can talk to each other and you can say, Hey, you know what? Actually, I'd love to see, you know, I'd love to see that mini freak, you know, they just put out and I'd love to see the comparison between that and the super freak, you know, Oh, you got your mediator in the pocket. Nice. Right on, you know, and then you get your super freak going and you're like, Whoa, that's a crazy difference, you know? So yeah, totally uncharted trucker. You know, those are, those are the things that I appreciate, you know, because now I can think of a lot of stuff and go through things for you guys, but there's sometimes where all of a sudden somebody's like, Hey, you know what? I remember that you had the, you know, I don't know, something random, some pocket clip or something else. It's like, what would that look like on the mini freak? You know, Hey, you know what? Let's take it apart and throw it on there and see what it looks like. So always happy to do that for you guys. Um, and it's good for me too, because I want to see that stuff. You know, I, I have, I have lots of channels that I watch and it's always fun to interact with people and say, Hey, you know, you have that, you know, pair of three lightweight. What would it look like if you slap some anodized hardware on it? You know, it'd look pretty sweet is what I'd say. <laughs> so, yeah. So I hope you guys got a chance to check out that giveaway. If you don't, I will also link that down below. It's my 1 million view giveaway. So I'm doing, one person's gonna win a custom build. It's open till July 20th. And if anyone sends something in for you guys additionally, I will add that to a different giveaway. So I'll just, I'll add it to make a second or a third drawing. But right now, that's the main, the main big prize, you know, for you guys to win. So, uh, let's see, does a mini deep carry on the mini freak make any kind of hotspot for me? No, you know, I know it came with the split arrow, but for when I'm using it, I mean, it kind of hits right here on the pad of my pinky, you know, the, the height of it. But to me, I love it. Triple E. Awesome, man. Thanks for joining. I really appreciate it. We'll be doing a giveaway here in about five, 10 minutes. So if you can jump back in, let me know. What's up, Ryan? We've got custom knife builder Ryan Pearson here. This awesome family. Rodney's here too. Guys are super awesome knife builders. Yeah, the Mini Freak's a good one. You know, it's I mean, it's a little expensive, but that's how they do carbon fiber, how they do S90V, you know. Yeah, the split arrow is a hard one, but you know what, guys? I haven't I haven't switched this one out yet. This one came with it, and I haven't switched it out yet. I've been carrying it, you know, every, I don't know, probably three or four days a week I've been carrying this one, using it. Um, but I haven't, uh, I've left it on there. Hey, hey, welcome, welcome. I am a fan. Steven, welcome. 
Oh, what didn't you win? We haven't done anything, any of the contests yet. So, or not contest, but giveaway. What's up, Tyler? Tier one's here. What's up? A little hydration, a little iced tea. Let's see. Great insight. Okay, cool. Thanks, Josh. I appreciate it. You ordered a custom mini grip. Battle wash bug out. 940-1801, yeah. Oh, the Grizzly Ridge. That one, that one shocked me. I didn't realize how smooth that was going to be. I mean, that one, especially with the blue and black, I mean, that's kind of like the color combos I like, so good. Yeah, Super Freak, can't wait. That's awesome. Custom Shop 940 would be like the the icing on the cake for the 20-year anniversary of the 940, so... Match made in heaven, Kark. Have I got the discontinued Hidden Canyon yet? Um, the discontinued one? I think that's the one that's been out for a while, right? And if that's the one, then I've probably had that one already. Thanks, B. Caldwell. Oh, yeah, the blue one. Nice. That's cool. So anyways, I'll plug it one more time. If you have uh, if you have any leads on any of these that are decently priced, you know, let me know. I I, I just can't afford the four or five six hundred dollar ones right now. Yeah, I enjoy this one. It's solid. I mean, if if you've held a nine forty, and even if it's like the G ten model, like the nine forty dash two or something, um, you know that weight difference is you know it's so solid. I mean, it's titanium. Um, and you feel it, you know, so you just literally have to get one in hand to know that difference, you know? Um, but let me see here. Let me see if I can do it really quick. If you guys don't mind, I'm just going to show you the weight difference on those. Where is my scale? There we go. Show you the quick weight difference on them. I know I did it before in a video, but it's hard to explain until you see it. So the titanium's at 3.36, and the G10's at 2.6. So, you know, three quarters of an ounce heavier, it just it just totally makes that difference. So, yeah, the 2002 is awesome, which is the, this blue one here. And I really hope they make something different, but they to be consistent with every practice they have of these, they have to change something with these. So maybe they'll do black and black and change the blade steel and give us a satin blade two option or something. That would be one of those that they would have to change to make it different than the dealer exclusive one to fit their own standards. So Tyler got his carbon fiber elite first production bug out back from Benchmade this week, along with a nice blue bag right on installed some critter rock scale design scales and the geared backs. Oh, right on. Yeah. You love that feel. It makes it so different, huh? Osborne Titanium or Anthem? Anthem. I'm a 940 Osborne guy, as you guys know, but the Anthem is way better than that Titanium 940 right there. Is the 940-1 really worth the blade upgrade for the price? For me, yes. The 940-1 is an awesome upgrade. Um, and then you got to get a blue thumb stud as well, either off a of bug out, which if you do it off the bug out, you're going to get it, um, it's going to be a little bit lighter. But if you get the ones from Adrian, you're going to get the blue like right here. A little bit deeper of a blue. Looks pretty good. Either, either Both of them look great. So, uh, Ethan says he needs to pre-order that 940 auto. Oh, you got your 940-1 a month ago. Yeah, it is. And you know how nice it is. Which clip do you rock on it, Ethan? You got the 1701. Yeah, wouldn't that be awesome if that one was auto? Oh, Mean Gene. Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, Spirited's like, that'd be a great birthday present for me. Me and Gene says, awesome live. By the way, why don't you just heat the stainless and titanium on your blue 940? Oh, uh, I could, huh? I guess I could darken it up that way. See, I've never been, I maybe I'd have to send it to somebody, but I guess I could just do a quick little torch on it maybe. Is that what you're talking about? Heat it up to get a little different color. I could do that. I could do that. I don't want to, 
I don't know if that would change any of the properties on how the access works against the blade, but I could definitely try it. I, I know where it could get fixed. <laughs> right on, Donald. Oh, cool. Yeah, exactly, Uncharted. Oh, yeah, if you have that military discount through them, you can definitely get a discount on it. I think it's like 505 or 510 uh, full price. Um, I think it's in the the mid fours or something like that for from your knife dealers. And I think it's another 100 bucks off through the military stuff in there. So that's pretty cool. Um, my spirited says, are you digging the 940 or the bug out more these days? Uh, you know, it's a good question with, with this, with these two that came out. Well, here, let me just tell you this. So this one came out and it jumped me away from carrying my bug out. So I've been carrying this one at work a whole bunch. And then it's so small that I just throw it in when I'm done working and go from there. But when this blue one came out and now the auto, I haven't carried, don't tell them, but I haven't carried a bug out in a couple weeks. Don't tell them. They're mad at me. They didn't even show up for the live. Oh, man. Oh, thank you. My gosh, Randall. Cheers from Connecticut. Just talked to Benchmade for Life Sharp, and they ran out of 710 blades. Sad day for my old buddy, but I just bought a cricket. Oh, man, they ran out of the 710 blades? Oh, wonder if you could get one on eBay or something for halfway decent. I think I only have one of those left. One of those 710s left. Yeah, that's a classic knife right there. Maybe they'll bring it back. Yeah, it definitely makes it tempting. Uh, Uncharted Trucker says, do you happen to have an Anthem to compare to some of the other Benchmades in terms of size? Um... I do. I don't have it with me right now. Are you wanting to compare it to like the 940s? I can run and go get it, but it would take like 30 seconds. Colin, my giveaways are open for Australia. I am happy and have shipped to Australia as recent as a month ago. Oh, really? Okay. BJ, that's really nice. Thank you. You got the stamped clip. Oh, $5. Okay, well, it's cheaper than what they just posted, $10 for their clips. Got the Mini Freak CLA. Nice. Oh, okay. Danelle's on here. Welcome. Oh, nice. You're enjoying it. Okay, cool. Right on. That's cool. Yeah, sorry. I was working my way backwards through the comments. Thank you, Randall, so much. That is super awesome of you. That literally goes right towards my giveaway. So, <laughs> uh, How do you get signed up for the military discount of Benchmade? Uh, you go to their website, and they have a way. It's like verified ID or something like that. They use a company that does that. So um, they they're, it's a company that a lot of places use. And it's kind of a little bit weird because you have to give them like your social security and some other information. But... You can also do like GovX and some things like that. So hopefully that works. Yeah, bringing back the 710 would be awesome. Yeah, I'll go grab an Anthem in just a second, definitely. Oh, Donnell, thank you so much. Yes, Modified modified Blade Show West. We can actually, we should come up with a name for it. Um, but yes, definitely. I'm looking forward to that weekend too. I'm going to take off days around it and... We're going to have to do, have some fun, so. Knock. Alex, thank you so much from Norway. How do you like the Cabela's exclusive 940? Oh, you're getting one? I really like it. You know, I like the idea of having the um, carbon fiber and the wood. The only thing I would suggest is if you are going to be carrying it outside, try to keep the wood dry. That wood tends to dry out a little bit, but... Um, it will kind of just like wood will when it gets wet, it'll, you know, turn lighter, those kind of things. It's the only negative I've seen on that knife, but I love it. I carry mine too. 
Okay, cool. Man, that is so super nice of you, Norway. Knock, Alex, Knock from Norway. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Yeah. So let me, yeah. Scott at big Border and gear is doing up your spider co manix two XL. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So you guys want, if you're cool with that, let me go grab my Anthem and I'm also going to grab the stuff for the giveaway today. I want to do a live giveaway for you guys being here and supporting. So that's awesome. So give me like 30 seconds. I will go grab that. And I will be right back. Hopefully that wasn't too long of a of a way away. Yeah, everybody talk amongst yourselves. Thank you so much. Yeah, let's see what everybody's got in their pocket right now. Edge presentation. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a really good one. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick comparison on some of these and then do the giveaway. So let's see here. We're gonna do comparison to the 940, 2001. Oh, nice, I see some Protex, Spyrocos, Cold Steel, Proponent, Saibu, Mini Scandal, Mediator, Ladybug, PM2, OG Mini Freak with the Green Rogue Blake Works. Nice. Mini Crooked River. Oh, the banter. I'm so jealous. That's awesome. Mini Freak. Nice. Okay, so here's a Mini Presidio 2 and CF Elite on top. Very special Tucson 127. Yeah, that's so awesome. I'll be carrying mine later today. Bug Out International, yeah, Morgan, that one's so nice. I carried that one this week too. So, 530, Leong Ma, right on. So those are kind of your two comparisons here. Let's do a comparison to the Mini Crooked River, Quiet Carry, Waypoint. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try one of those out. Yeah, the Mini Crooked River, definitely. That's a very nice gift. Thank you again, Justin. You, don't, you know, if you guys haven't checked out OC for EDC, um, I'm hoping he's going to be live again tonight. Um, so I can give him a little bit more grief. No, I'm just kidding. And uh, and really, check out his channel. Get subscribed up. Um, awesome shows he does. And obviously awesome, amazing work that he does. On knives too so and then let's see the mini freak where the mini freak go let's move this one out the bench made in the middle this one's the anthem this is the bench made anthem um, this is that integral with the thrush bearings and the pocket clip is actually an MXG gear clip I went with the deep carry and it pretty much blends right in I, you know, it comes with a beautifully milled clip. However, I like a deep carry clip. The milling was similar to your split arrow. And there's your mini freak on top. Yeah, I really hope, I hope this helps you guys. Um, sorry I didn't have this one with me. I, you know, didn't bring some of my other stock when I did my video today. So on this one, on the Anthem, I went to MXG Gear. They have an online store. And they make clips specifically for the Anthem. So you can just type in Benchmade Anthem on their website. And it'll give you all the ranges. And they have different colors. So you can get darker ones. You can get some, you know, polished ones. And they have a couple different styles. Some that have like a, a kind of a cut down the middle of them. So it has a little bit more design. Um, but overall, they make some good deep carry clips especially for the Anthem, so. 
Thank you guys so much. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, she goes to bed a little early, huh? <laughs> That's the only benefit is it's a great time to enjoy your day. You know, your husband's busy. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, Justin's got a great live that he does. So, yeah, definitely copy me on that clip. You know, I mean, we all learn from each other. And to me, it works out great. You know, it carries deep in the pocket. The uh, you know it's it's not a black clip so people will see it. It's kind of that similar color, kind of that st like deep stone wash. And they made a brand new one too. They have a brand new one that just came out um, for the anthem and a couple others that they did. So, anyways, um, another knife, and then we'll do the giveaway. Don't forget to check out this one. It's an exclusive from KnifeWorks. Um, I bought this one when it dropped because it's the 20 CV. It's the mini RSK MK one dash two, I think, or something like that. It's the mini Hogue Ritter. Um, beautiful and it works great. So, uh, blade steel on the Anthem is going to be your 20 CV. Donald, thank you so much, man. Thank you very much. Hopefully that shows on there. 20 CV. So comparison wise, I mean, the biggest thing you're paying for here is this is all one piece of milled out titanium. So yeah, it's so cool. Nelly's watching just in honestly, just the, the most kind people you've ever met and could spend weeks with. So I'm moving in. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, honestly, like surprising Big Red was just an amazing thing for his two year anniversary. Um, I brought gifts for everybody. Um, and it was just a fun thing. But there were so many people that went into the planning of it as well. That it was just really super cool. So I hope you guys liked it. I hope I look forward to having some more uh, some live videos with Big Red and uh, OCD for EDC and a few other people coming up soon. So Anyways, let's see here. So let's put these off to the side. Let's get a few things out. Uh, let's write down a little. We're going to do the number today. Um, and what that means is you will guess a number between. Let's see. Let's figure out what the, the range is. I want to make it a little bit easier so maybe somebody could guess it. I don't know. Okay. Well, I, we got something figured out, I think. One of the things is um, looking at, we're going to do a range of 0 to 200. And until you see the start on the screen, please don't guess. You're only going to get one guess. And the guess is going to be one number between 0 and 200. Um, the number is written right here on this little piece of paper right here. We're gonna make sure it's in safekeeping. And let's see here. We're gonna give you a giveaway a few things. We're gonna do, oh, I didn't bring the pen in here. Okay, you're gonna get a write in the rain notebook, which is pretty cool. It's a memo, it's waterproof. It's made here in the USA, out of Washington and Tacoma. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we're gonna go with the Benchmade patch, which is these are now um, out of stock and have been discontinued. So you get kind of that uh, eagle holding the infidel. Pretty sweet patch. And we're going to throw in this Olight that I picked up for you guys. This is the i5T EOS. And it's the exact same except it doesn't have the blue lines on it. It's all black with a blue clip. This was a different run they did. But it's up to, it's got two light modes. It's got 30 lumens and 300. It runs off a single. So this is the 30 lumen mode. So it's good for like, you know, looking inside your knives, you know, trying to, I don't know, look inside your ear to get something. I don't know. But it's really good for that low light situation. And then a double click, you get your 300 mode. And you that pretty much takes care of every EDC that you're going to need right there. Um... But just so you guys can see it, let me show you. 
Yeah, exactly, <laughs> Daniel. But it's great. It runs off of one. This is the one that came with it, you know, the high-tech battery. But it's been lasting great for me so far. So that's one of those that one AA battery. You can pretty much find it anywhere you go. You can keep it in your gear. Um, it's a great little flashlight. So, And then I'm also going to throw in a polka pin or pocket pin. Paka, polka, polka. We'll say polka. Um, so you have something to write with. And like I said, unfortunately, I didn't bring it in here with me. It's the one thing I forgot to grab. But you're going to win those four things if you can guess that right. So when you see the start on the screen from Big Red, you go ahead and give it a give a guess. And we're going to do one guess per person that's here live. Thank you again, Donald, very, very much. And the guess will be one number between 0 and 200. And if somebody guesses it right on, that'll be pretty sweet. Maybe I'll throw a bonus in if somebody gets it right on. Yeah, it is It is pretty cool. So, And I will say, if there's more than one guess that's super close, or somebody that guesses it right on, we'll take the first one. So we'll let it run here for another minute or so. But yeah. I really appreciate you guys so much. It's fun having all the knives to um, circulate through our pass around group. And um, it's just cool the people that, you know, the relationships I've been able to establish just by meeting you guys, you know, and going through that whole thing. So it's been, it's been fun. It's been pretty fun. And I've been, this is like my one day off this week. And I'm like, I got to do the live. I got to make sure to open this box on video because you know Justin wanted to make sure and I I was blown away man literally not only like surprised <laughs> like shock wise but blown away by your your just generosity and kindness and the time you took to actually make that so I really appreciate that uh, so as long as everybody's got out there one guess in it looks like everybody has and like I said, I've seen, I think the one that's on here, I've seen somebody guess the right number. Um, so if there is people that guess more than, or if there's more people that guess the right number, we're gonna go with the first person that guessed it. So one guess per, yep. Okay, so we got the stops up there from Big Red. Thank you so much. We're gonna go back through. Let's go ahead and look at this. I think I saw who got the first one, but I'm gonna go back and double check. And you guys can help too. But there it is, 124. And that goes off of the TS-124 so generously donated and modified personally for me by OCD for EDC. So make sure to please check him out. And I think I'm going to go back through. I thought I saw, let's see here. First person I showed was Juan Lopez with the 124. But let me double check with Glock on there. Yeah, so I'm going to go with the first person that guessed it. So, yeah. So, anyways, so I'll go back through. I'll double confirm it. Um, I'll reach out to um, the winner. So, if you had posted the right one, make sure to leave a comment once this posts. So we can communicate because what I show on mine is that a few guesses in, we had a 127 and then a couple later we had Juan with 124. But unfortunately, I don't see Glocks on here at all. So I'm going to go back through and wait till this post so it loads in order. We'll double check it. Um, because if Glock won, then we definitely want to make sure to get it. Yeah, it's a close call. So I want to make sure it's good and solid for you guys. Don't forget 8 PM central OCD for EDC's channel. Um, I'll be there and we'll go from there. Yeah, they'll all have a timestamp. So I'll be able to go back through it. So uh, like I said, this has been the weirdest thing that these, you know, the, when we have people guess, and I know it's been on everybody's channel, the problems with it. So I got to find a different way to do it. Um, where maybe I can have, 
I don't know, maybe I can post a separate video and have you guys jump over to that video and leave a comment and then just do a random from there or something. Doing the random, you know, giveaway website. But we'll figure something out. We'll come up with something that's, you know, a little easier because I know we want to have a big old party for you guys. So, but anyways, you guys will get these. I'll send this out to the winner. If it ends up being Glock or it ends up being Juan, congratulations, you guys. Thank you so much for all your support today. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. Send me a message. Send me an email. Um, and we'll go from there, you know. So, yeah, we'll select an older video or I'll post a separate one up or something and put the link on here and you guys can go, you know, leave a post. We'll do something fun that, you know, that way the people that are truly here live um, get to participate in because I like doing the giveaways for people that are here live um, just as a, as a thank you, you know, as a thank you for your interaction. Thank you for your friendship. I mean, the people that I've met through here are just amazing. All you guys have been amazing. So anyways, uh, if, uh, just going to wrap this up. We're going to get back to the day. Um, we're going to enjoy, I'm going to get a couple more videos filmed so you guys can see some other stuff that's going on, but you guys have an awesome day. Continue to do something kind. Big Red, thank you so much. Appreciate all your help. Nelly, you're the best. Take care of that guy. Justin, thank you so much again. Ryan and Rodney, thank you guys. Hollywood Tactical is here. What's up? Thank you so much. Yeah, he's doing a live stream, 8 p.m. Central. Check out OCD for EDC. Jason, John, I'm a fan. Thank you. Jack, take care. Appreciate it. Bad tofu. Bad tofu. Thank you again. Ron, right on, man. Good to see you. Thank you. Alex, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate the support. Greg, see the Mansky. Take care. Ronnie, you too. Beefer, we'll see you later. 8 p.m. Central. All right, if you can't make it, We'll, 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 we'll give you a shout out at least. I'll give you a shout out. Born of Blades, thank you very much. CG, Sig, take care. Do something, for kind, do something kind for someone this week. I'll talk to you guys later.